It was Scotty, this local lake kid I met on vacation when I was 13. I had a huge crush on him. So on the last day, I decided to take a chance and I kissed him. It was my first time ever kissing a boy. So when he pulled away and said that he wasn't into this, I was humiliated. I mean, I'd obviously misread signals. He was straight. It was five years before I ever made a move on a guy again. And even then I wouldn't dare unless he was basically floating across the room. Which is why I ended up with, you know, well, you know. Finding everything okay, buddy? Yeah. Just uh, first time here, so, uh... You look familiar. Do I know you? No, 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 no. Just picking up a few, uh, lake essentials. <clears throat> okay. Whoa. Are you robbing me? God, no. No. Um, uh, you know what? Good. Mom, this is Kenny, and Dad, you already met. Uh, yeah, first of all, Kenny, sick ponytail. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Kenny designs jeans for our boutique. Uh-huh. Oh, that reminds me, I got something for you. What are you, uh, 32, 34? What are you, 36, 38? What are you, in my mind? Put them on your body. Will do, <laughs> will do. Oh, Kenny, uh, Kenny is kind of a big deal. Uh -huh. What does that fashion website call you again? <laughs> a genius. Spelled like jeans. Oh. Mortifying. And a rack star. Oh. <laughs> and what was the headline again? Oh, yeah. He's denimite. What an embarrassing week you've been having. Oof, yeah. Mm. I'm just trying to stay fresh creatively, you know? I made my bones in men's apparel, and now I'm working with these local boutiques. Just trying to get into girls' jeans. Phil! There's no Phil here. These jeans just slipped on me so perfectly, my name must be Pansarella. Boom! Comfortable, right? Like a diaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we should get going. Oh, yeah? Uh, you here to rob me again? <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, no, you didn't scare me at all. As a matter of fact, I'm the one robbing you. Back in town, these worms were five cents each. Ah, so, um, listen, we, we actually do know each other. Uh, Mitchell Pritchett, Summer of 89. I let you have my Nintendo Game Boy. Mitchie Pritchie. Of course, you were mad about that Game Boy because your dad got you that instead of, like, some share album. If I could turn back time. <laughs> Which brings me to why I'm here. Um... I don't know if you remember this, but I tried to kiss you once, and I've I've just always I've felt really terrible about it, and I just want to say I'm sorry. Oh yeah, no, I barely remember that. We had a great summer. Don't think twice about it. Oh, that is that is such a relief. Remember we stole my dad's truck and took it to the casino? Right. I was trying to cheer you up because that bully kept pushing you in the lake. Clear. Yeah, no, we're cool now. Um, so listen, good to see you. Great to see you. Oh, and hey, listen, thank you so much for understanding. A lot of straight guys wouldn't have been so nice. Straight. I'm not straight. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm Gary and three crawdaddies in a bucket. Were you guys looking for bait? I just got in. Sonia, I have very bad news to tell you. Let me get Nestor. He's my rock. Nestor! I, what happened to my independent sister that I admire so much because she needed no man? Where is he? Well, I thought he was a gold digger, so I chased him out. You did what? But the silver lining is that you still have all your money. What? Money? I don't have any money! What do you mean? The money from the hot sauce business that you're doing so well? No, it was all a lie. I just didn't want him to be suspicious. <sighs> Look, I'm wearing aluminum earrings. They're turning my ears green. <sighs> it took me two years to land that rich, beautiful moron. Where am I going to get that kind of money? Oh! 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 Oh, I trip! Someone call a lawyer! You didn't trip. Yes, I did. Look, uh, the floor is all wet. Sonia, that didn't work at the Princess cruise ship and it's not going to work here. Every time I try to get my leg together, you always ruin it for me. You owe me a rich husband. I'll find you one. There are plenty of old rich men around here that would do anything that you say. Some of them can still hear. Oh, who's this? Oh, he's, um... He's the best hedge guy in town. Congratulate him. He just got a new plane. Oh. A hedge guy, fascinating. And how did you get started in that business? I bought the clippers. <gasps> wow. And where are you going dressed so nice? A wedding. Oh, I love wedding. Would you like to accompany me? I would love to. <laughs> and can we take your place? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why is our gardener wearing your tuxedo? Why is Nestor gone? Let me lock the door first. Gloria! You ruined my life again. Pleasure getting to know Kenny. It's our treat. Are you kidding? No. Give him your credit card, Phil. 
Also, uh, this restaurant is pretty far away, so we might be out late. Well, sweetheart, you are only young once. <laughs> well, might even make sense to just stay in a hotel. Okay, put it on the plastic. Great. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh, it's my ex-wife, not the good one. What do you want? Nice.